Uh, dear friends, welcome to his American Integrated English Program or Integrated Personality Development Program where we have learned about grammar, we have finished and we have come here to socially speaking or special speaking etiquettes. So here, uh, what is that? See here, we have come here to the ninth video and video number 51. Hang on for a minute. Hang on for a minute. Where do you use already? We have seen 26 phrases. Hang on for a minute. Where do you use this phrase? When somebody wants to speak or spend time with you, either in person or in a phone, you use the phrase, uh, hang on for a minute. See, somebody wants to speak and somebody wants to spend time with you. And you just use the phrase, hang on for a minute. <gasps> with your family members and a friend. See here, your friend says, Ram, I want to speak with you. Your friend says, Ram, I want to speak with you. And you say, hang on for a minute, right? Somebody wants to speak to you through phone or they want to spend time with you in person. Then you are, uh, you know, just you want to tell them, just wait a minute. So you use the phrase, hang on for a minute. And coming here, hang on for a second. Minute and second, it varies, isn't it? Second is uh, uh, one sixtieth of a minute. As when somebody wants to speak to you in person or in phone, same thing. This is what the response you give. And you are eager to speak with them by excusing yourself from the present engagement. Here you are very eager to speak with them. There you are just wait. Here somebody speaks to you. Somebody wants to meet you. You just excuse yourself from other person and you just go there and speak with them. So you're telling that person, come on, hang on for a second to him or them. So you with your friends and a family, family member. Lada, I want to speak with you. So you to your friends. You say to Lada, hang on for a second Lada. Responses for thank you. Day to day. Most of them, you know, um, they use thank you, thank you, and thank you. When somebody says thank you, what you are going to respond? See, is number one, my pleasure. Somebody says thanks, you say thank you, and you say uh, it's my pleasure. So, accepting the thank you in an informal way, it is the response is, is my pleasure. Somebody says thanks, thank you, what do you say? It's my pleasure. Or you can say you are welcome. It is formal. It's my pleasure is informal. Uh, you are welcome. It is most formal. Right? And coming here, uh, somebody says ah, thank you. You say in response any time. It is that casual acceptance any time. You say thank you. I say any time. It's a casual acquaintance. Uh, is, uh, you, say, you say thank you. I say it's all right. It is casual acceptance. Uh, you say thank you and I say, no, 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 it's my duty to do. Oh, why thanks, it's my duty. So, um, when somebody says thanks, it is, uh, you're responding by saying my pleasure. It is uh, informal, you are welcome, it is formal. And here, uh, at any time, it is casual acceptance. Don't mention it, it is casual acceptance. It's all right, it's casual acceptance. It's my duty, it's casual acceptance. And coming here, requesting phrases. Whenever you want to request, you're asking somebody, requesting, the formal and casual request. Formal means what? Uh, you're, you're asking to your manager, you're asking your, to your teacher, you're asking to your principal. So it is formal way of uh, requesting them. So do you mind helping me by giving your, do you mind helping me by giving your pen? Do you mind helping me by giving your scooty? Uh, yes, uh, do you mind helping me by giving your one month salary? So it is all uh, formal request. But informal, casual, can I use your, can I use your car? Can I use your bike? Formal request, may I use your bike? Could I use your bike? Will it be all right if I use your bike? Or will you give me your bike? So advising phrases, both formal and uh, formal advice, orders, informal advice. Formally, I'm advising you. I being a manager, I being a teacher, I being a head of your team, I being a team leader, I am giving you a formal advice, right? Informal advice, I am your friend, how I am advising. Here it is 
formal. Here it is informal advices. Formal advices. It is done by your seniors, elders, your higher authorities. And informal advice is given to you by your friends, right? See, formal advice, you must follow. You must follow the rules and regulations. For It is formal. Why don't you follow? It is informal. You must follow is formal. Why don't you follow the rules and regulations? And I think you should do exercise. If you do exercise, it will be good for your health. See, formal. You should do exercise. And informally, your friend is telling to you, if you do exercise, good for your health. Right? So, you should do. And if you do, and coming here, you ought to take care of your, you ought to take care of your parents. You ought to take care of your brother. You ought to take care of your sister. You ought to take, ought means a social responsibility and informal advice. Why not you take care of your parents? Why not you take care of your friend? It is informal. So my dear friends, hang on for a minute. Hang on for a second. Hang on for a minute you are telling. Somebody wants to speak to you through the phone or somebody wants to meet you in person and you're saying just wait there I'll come so hang on for a minute somebody speaks to you wants to speak to you see here it may be a friend but here it may be your wife you may be your husband maybe your son or a daughter you cannot tell them wait for a minute wait for a second wait for a minute is for men for whom it is for formal your customers, your manager, you know, for them you say, oh, wait for a minute. But here, for your loved ones, you cannot make your wife to wait for a minute. You can make, you can make your customer to wait for a minute. Your colleague to wait for a minute. But you cannot make your loved ones to wait for a minute. You have to be faster. One sixteenth. You know, it should be faster. Sixty times faster. So, wait for a second and speak to your wife. And coming here, uh, where do you use, uh, uh, f somebody says, thank you. And uh, you say, uh, yes, it's my pleasure. It is informal, you're most welcome. It is formal. Uh, it's uh, any time. Don't mention it. It's all right, it's my duty. Formal request and informal request. Requesting formally. Um, to your friend or your brother or sister, your father or mother, you go for informal requests. And share advising, formal advices uh, from authorities and informal ad advices from your friends and loved ones, right? Hope you are able to get it. Are you clear about it? Yes, I request this gentleman to come forward, Mr. Prakash, and tell what you are able to understand. Short, um, and look at the camera. Yes, sir. Make us. And after that, one by one, the students should come and introduce your name and start speaking. Yes, please come, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Today we uh, uh, had this session. We, it, uh, sir, thought about uh, some of the speaking etiquettes, uh, mostly around five main sentences. First one is uh, uh, there are two different phrases: uh, "Hang on, on a, hang on a minute" and uh, "Hang on a second. Uh, so where we use it uh, uh, when there are a close relation uh, where we cannot uh, avoid skipping their uh, responding to them. Uh, so even one second also important. Uh, in, during this situation for responding to the loud ones, we use hang on for a second. And uh, for a formal way, uh, if, if you are working with the boss and boss you are calling you for a, some meeting, uh, you are in some other uh, work, there you say to boss that hang on for a minute. And uh, these are the two uh, phrases. And coming to the thank you, Thank, when someone uh, say thank you and you have to respond, there are response in many different ways. Uh, what both casual and uh, uh, very formal and informal. When you say when you, when you want to respond uh, in a informal way, you could say that uh, it's my pleasure. Whereas in a formal formal way, you can say you are welcome. And there are in casual way you can respond in multiple ways like any time. And do not mention it. It's all right. It's my duty. And last thing is uh, requesting phrases. There are uh, formal request and casual request. In uh, formal request, uh, do you mind helping me by giving you a pen? 
it's a very formal, but if you're talking to the friend in a casual way, you can say, can I use your pen, please? And second one, may I use your book? Uh, that's the formal way of asking someone. If it is very close to one, you can say, could I use your book for some time? The same way, like, will it be all right if I use your uh, book for reading for one Same way, it will be the casual way. Will you give me your, so it shows like we have to use, may, will, uh, do you mind to, to make it more and more formal. And casual, you could use a can, could uh, to make it a casual request. And the last one is advising phrases. So advising also, there are two ways. Uh, one is formal advising and uh, casual uh, uh, informal advising. You must follow. It is like a boss responding, uh, advising to the uh, subordinate. And I think you should do that. And you ought to take care of your belongings. So informal, it is like a colleague or friends are, uh, are giving some advices. Why don't you follow the rules? And uh, if you do this, why not take care of your belongings? So thank you. Thank you for giving this session. It's really useful. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Prakash. And sure, the corrections you should do here, sure, etiquettes are the Z and double T. Etiquettes, right? So I request uh, yes, uh, Hema to come forward and tell what uh, she is able to understand. You have to introduce your name, tell about your qualification, what do you do, and what you are able to understand. Hi, I am Sihi um, I am BE student, third year. Um, now, the classes um, hang on hang on for a minute. When um, somebody wants to speak, uh, spend with your time. We use this phrase, hang on for a minute. Then hang on for a second. Whenever um, whenever you get to speak you, to use these words is hang on for your, hang on for a second. Next, we use responsibility for uh, thanking you. Thanking you is, uh, anybody say thanking you? It's my pleasure. We use this word, it's my pleasure. It's uh, uh, informal. And formal, we use, um, you are always welcome. It's formal. Um, anytime, I just, Anytime it is all right. We are, uh, these words are acceptance. Uh, formal, there are two types, formal requesting and casual accepting. May I use your cell phone? This is a formal, formal requesting. Um, in casuals are, could I use your cell phone? This is casual. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine. You, you like to? So I request you, this gentleman, to introduce himself, and don't look at the board. Without looking at the board, you are supposed to say, "Turn this side." Yes. Hi, I am Lokesh. I am going to talk about speaking ethics. When somebody, uh, when formal, uh, uh, when some other person want to speak, uh, in hang. You want to say hang for a minute. Uh, when somebody wants to speak in a person, in phone, or eager to speak, we want to use hang, uh, hang on for a second. Minute is uh, different, but second is different. We want to talk as friend, we want to use minute. And second means we want to talking with some other person or uh, office boss. That's all. Next, uh, responses for thank you. When somebody telling uh, thank you, we should uh, response uh, that any time do not mention it. It's all right. It is my duty. In formal requ uh, request, we should uh, tell do you do you, do you mind helping me giving your may I use your will it all right if I use your in casual can I use your could I use your will you give me your advising phrases both formal formal advice and informal advice. In formal address, you should, uh, you should tell others as you must follow. I think you 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 should you out to take our affair. In informal, we can talk uh, to our friends. Why do not you follow? If you do, why take care of you?
हाय माय नेम इज़ अदिति रानी स्पीकिंग एकडिकेट्स हैंग फॉर अ मीट व्हेन समबडी व्हेन व्हेन समबडी सम स्पेंड फॉर अ टाइम विथ योर फ्रेंड्स हैंग फॉर अ सेकंड रिस्पॉन्स फॉर योर थैंक यू माय प्लेजर डोंट मेंशन इट एंड एंड द थर्ड इज फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल एडुकेट्स फॉर फॉर्मल एडुकेट्स मे आई मे आई कैन मे आई May I use your pen and uh, casual? Can you use? Uh, can I use your book? And thank you. So, number one, Gloria. Yes, American. Or again, the Agatha you book. I read to you. Now, if you read the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. Social speaking, personality development, anak itu minda orang ini indah bersama kita lebari kerana deh. So inge speaking socially, sama samudaya ini dia ke, ya perih pesu bodi, pesu bentum, ya perih pesu bentum, yar edam pesu bentum. Na wakti kelai ubi yoga perta bentum. Ini tu orang lai perti choli kerana deh orang lu orang ya brought up, walat kapatam murai ini choli kerana deh orang lu orang ya parang beri ini choli kerana deh orang lu orang ya nawa nakri katan me ini choli kerana deh orang lu orang ya ansari tu pohok kuri ya gunad si orang lai choli kerana deh so Pech, nak hari ke pech. So, yerubat yar muni tu betom, yerubat yel. Hang on for a minute. Hang na poy tunggu indera artam. Inda hangu where? Hang on for a minute. Minute indera laru bodi nodi poludikal seconds indera soli kiram. Apa? No paru bodi nodi poludikal poy tunggu bodah. Kira ya tu. Hang on for a minute indera le na. Kur aru bodi second, saru bodi binadi kal. Kunjum katiringgal, uru nimadam katiringgal endu sullo kudiye, anda wasakam tan, hang on for a minute. Tani tani warta kelak eru tu kotda latham beri, hang on for a minute hendal inne, uru nimadam puru tiringgal. Apa, when somebody wants to speak or spend time with you either in person or in phone, yaro uru uru nimadam, kunjum neeram selavali ke virumbi ke rargal, telephone ilo, alat neeridi aku, awar kelidam. Ippun itu kencam kat teringgal endu solbat tak badlak eh. Ninggal ena soli biri soli kiri ergal hang on for a minute endu soli kiri ergal. Unggal ni nandar soli kira Ram I want to speak with you. Ram unggal per Ram Ram na unoran pesa bentam hang on for a minute. Or ni mana porut teri endu soli kundu kawari kah kawai kirai perak bandu pesi kirai. Adep pun tu hang on for a second endu alinne. Angka orang ni mana mingga orang vinadi porut teri. Orang vinadi kul orang bandu sandi kiri endu bekamak eh endu soli kira bolde. Apa endu hang on for second endu bade. Anthur nampar meka mukhya mana berakhir ikirah orang noda ya wang bal kehilai. Hang on for a minute endu alinne. Awar adi mukhya tu orang bandu awar allah. Hang on for a second, orang orang ini kanan ban, mana biki, tali besi, lalai kum bodoh tu, alat itu orang orang ini neringi, anpan, pasaman, barangkal, kat kon, kat rukai, baikkan ini, rumpah dah bodoh tu, hang on for a second, orang orang ini solat. When somebody wants to speak to you in person on phone and you are eager to speak with them by excusing yourself from the present engagement, use the phrase hang on for a second. Orang ke pedit tak barangkal besi kita barangkal. Utan nanti aku awak lalu dan pesa bentuk bentuk mana deh, tu di kira dah awak lalu kak kawai kini virum bad abul deh, hang on for a second endu soli kira ay, so unur ay kudum kudum bo uru pinar, un pair lada, lada I want to speak with you lada unur ay nan pesa bentuk, adu un kanawa rakir kalam ni enna soli kira ay, hang on for a second, uru nanti pulu deh kat teringgal bandu beri kira in, so responses for thank you, adikadi inda bad tay, wasakam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Indu soli kira argal. Anu thank you, saya sollo mbolo dini. Enna soli kira ay badil ak eh. Indu parti ro mbolo dini. Pleasure. Enno dey anandam. Ninge thank you indu soli kira argal. Enak per anandam ak kiri kira de. My pleasure indu sollo kodi yade. Ida informal entar ini natpur idi ak eh yetu koli kira ay. Ni bodo bi sey kira ay. Awar nandi soli kira ay. Adi enno dey per anandam indu soli kira ay. You are welcome indu soli kira mbolo de. Adi rompe adi kara thorane ilai. ஒரு formal என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய ஆங்கிலத்திலேம் ஒரு முறை சம்பரதாய முறைக்காக ஏற்றுக்கொள்வது போல you are welcome ஒரு ஒரு நீ ஒரு நல்லது செய்கிறாய் ஒரு ஒரு நன்றி சொல்கிறார் you are welcome Ninggal varavir ke pedikir irgal entus solikirapulat adu formal aga pedikirade adittha daga any time 
ஒருவன் நன்றி சொல்கிறார் உன்னிடம் எனி டைம் எப்பொழுது வேண்டுமானாலும் என்று சொல்கிறது கேஷுவல் கேஷுவல் என்றால் என்ன யதார்த்த ரீதியாக ஏற்றுக்கொள்கிறாய் டோன்ட் மென்ஷன் இட் இன்னும் ஒன்று யாரோ ஒருவர் நீ செய்த உதவிக்கு நன்றி என்று சொல்கிறார் டோன்ட் மென்ஷன் இட் அதை குறிப்பிடாதீர்கள் என்று சொல்கிற பொழுது அதுவும் நட்பு ரீதியாக இருக்கிறது இட்ஸ் ஆல் ரைட் உணவு உதவி செய்கிறாய் அவர் நன்றி சொல்கிறார் சொல்கிறாய் இட்ஸ் ஆல் ரைட் அது பரவாயில்லை என்று சொல்கிறாய் அதுவும் நட்பு ரீதியாக ஏற்றுக்கொள்வதாக இருக்கிறது இட் இஸ் மை டியூட்டி நீ ஒரு கட்டமை செய்கிறாய் ஒரு வேலையை செய்கிறாய் அவர் நன்றி என்று சொல்கிறாய் இட் இஸ் மை டியூட்டி அது என் கடமை அதைத்தான் நான் செய்தேன் என்று சொல்வது அதுவும் கேஷுவல் யதார்த்தமாக ஏற்றுக்கொள்வது ரிக்வெஸ்டிங் ஃபிரேசஸ் தயவு செய்து எனக்கு ஒரு காரியத்தை செய்து கொடுங்கள் என்று வேண்டி விரும்பி கேட்கிற பொழுது ஃபார்மல் என்றால் என்ன முறையாக ஒரு போலீஸ் ஆபீசர்கிட்ட போய் ஹாய் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட் என்று சொல்ல முடியாது முறையாக சார் ஐ வாண்ட் திஸ் முறையாக கேட்க வேண்டும் ஒரு நண்பனிடம் கேட்கிற பொழுது மே ஐ கெனை யூஸ் யூ உன்னுடைய ஃபோனை யூஸ் பண்ணலாமா இங்கே டூ யூ மைண்ட் ஹெல்பிங் மீ பை கிவிங் யுவர் ஃபோன் உங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது ஆட்சேபனை இருக்கிறதா கொஞ்சம் ஒரு ஐந்து நிமிடம் ஃபோனை கொடுத்தீங்கன்னா நான் பேசிக்கொள்வேன் இது முறையான ரிக்வஸ்ட் கேஷுவல் ரிக்வஸ்ட் கெனை யூஸ் யோ ஃபோன் உன் ஃபோனை நான் உபயோகப்படுத்தலாமா இது வந்து நட்பு ரீதியாக மே யூஸ் யோர் செல்ஃபோன் இங்கே கூட யூஸ் யோர் செல்ஃபோன் வில் இட் பி ஆல் ரைட் இஃப் ஐ யூஸ் யோ உங்கள் செல்ஃபோனை யூஸ் பண்ணால் ஒன்றும் பிரச்சனை இல்லையே குட யூஸ் வில் யூ கிவ் மீ யோர் ஃபோன் உன்னை எனக்கு உன் ஃபோனை கொடுப்பியா ஸோ அட்வைசிங் ஃப்ரேசஸ் போத் ஃபார்மல் அண்ட் இன்ஃபார்மல் போத் ஃபார்மல் அண்ட் இன்ஃபார்மல் ஸோ அறிவுரை கூறுகிறார் தலைமை ஆசிரியர் அறிவுரை கூறுகிறார் உன்னுடைய காதலன் நான் உனக்கு அறிவுரை கூறுகிறார் உன்னுடைய நண்பன் அறிவுரை கூறுகிறான் ஸோ அதிகார தோரணையிலே அறிவுரை கூறுவது ஃபார்மலும் நட்பு ரீதியாக அறிவுரை கூறுவது இன்ஃபார்மல் என்றும் சொல்கிறோம் அப்ப இங்கே ஃபார்மல் அறிவுரை கூறுவது யூ மஸ்ட் ஃபாலோ நீ கண்டிப்பாக இதை செய்ய வேண்டும் இதுவும் ஹெட் மாஸ்டர் சொல்கிறார் இங்கே உங்கள் அப்பா சொல்கிறார் வை டோன்ட் யூ ஃபாலோ ஏன் நீ இதெல்லாம் பண்ணக்கூடாது என்று அன்பாக உனக்கு கட்டளை இடுகிறார் ஐ திங்க் யூ ஷுட் டூ நான் நினைக்கிறேன் நீ இப்படி தான் செய்ய வேண்டும் அதிகார தோரணை இங்கே இதை செய்தால் நன்றாக இஃப் யூ டூ இஃப் யூ ஸ்டடி வெல் யூ வில் கெட் குட் மார்க்ஸ் யூ மஸ்ட் ஸ்டடி வெல் என்று யார் சொல்கிறார் தலைமை ஆசிரியர் உன் அப்பா என்ன சொல்கிறாரு நீ படிச்சீன்னா நல்ல டா மார்க் வாங்குவா இஃப் யூ ஸ்டடி வெல் யூ ஆர் டு டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் யோ நீ உங்கள் பெற்றோர்களை கா கண்டிப்பாக நீ அவர்களை அக்கறை எடுத்துக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் இது அதிகார தோரணையிலே ஏன் உங்கள் அப்பா அம்மாவை நீ அக்கறை எடுத்து பார்த்து கொள்ளக்கூடாது வை டோன்ட் யூ டேக் கேர் ஆஃப் யோர் பேரண்ட்ஸா ஸோ நண்பர்களே டெலிஃபோனிலே பேசும் பொழுது ஒருவரை காக்க வைக்கிற பொழுது ஹேங்கான் ஃபார் ஏ மினிட்டும் செகண்டும் நன்றி என்று சொல்கிற பொழுது யுவர் மோஸ்ட் வெல்கம் மை பிளஷர் யுவர் வெல்கம் டோன்ட் மென்ஷன் இட்ஸ் மை டியூட்டி இட்ஸ் ஆல் ரைட் என்று சொல்கிறாய் ஃபார்மல் முறையாக மற்றவர்களிடம் வேண்டி விரும்பி கேட்கிற பொழுது உபயோகப்படுத்தக்கூடிய அந்த வாசகங்களும் கேஷுவல் யதார்த்த ரீதியாக கேட்கிற பொழுது உபயோகப்படுத்தக்கூடிய வாசகங்களும் அறிவுரை கூறும் பொழுது முறையாக அறிவுரை சொல்லுகிற பொழுதும் நட்பு ரீதியாக அறிவுரைகள் சொல்லுகிற பொழுதும் உபயோகப்படுத்தக்கூடிய வாக்கியத்தினுடைய வார்த்தைகளுடைய வேறுபாடுகளை பார்த்தீர்கள் இனி அடுத்து வரக்கூடிய வீடியோக்களில் மற்றவைகளை பார்ப்போம் தேங்க்யூ